friends welcome back to my crafty fabric room shipping room <laughs> um it's kind of a lot of rooms at the moment so i'm trying to clear it out as um as a lot of my friends here know and it's time to get the stamps in their boxes so that i can put them on the shelf so they're ready for shipment um now let me just say i have a ton of stamps i'm pulling them all and i'm doing a mix i'm just gonna fill boxes up with stamps and then to top them off I will going probably going to put like some fabric pieces some lace pieces just some odds and ends in there I want to make sure that the boxes are completely full I'm just gonna package them with stamps and like I said they're gonna be random if I'm not gonna remember what I'm putting in them the only way I would know is by looking at this video which oh lord help me I don't want to have to watch it <laughs> more than I have to watch it just I have to watch it to do the editing so I mean at that point I, I will have too much time invested in it so if there's something here that you're interested please pay attention to the video I think I have enough to do at least three of these boxes I packed the boxes I just did it really fast and kind of haphazardly I'm gonna go through each box emptying it out to show you what's in it and then the boxes will all be box A box B box C so I think that's gonna work out the best way. Let's get started on this one. Now, as you can see, I still have space and these are just kind of randomly thrown in there so I can make a little more space. For the most part, it's going to be just these, all these stamps. I don't know that I'll ha have another video showing the rest of the items that I'm putting in there. Um, I figure, we'll just see, we'll see how it goes. Maybe, we don't know, I don't know. We don't know, there's so many of me inside me right now, I really just don't know which way I'm going. <laughs> but let's just start with this. There's um, now all these stamps, um, some are newer, some are older, some are mine from that I've had for many years, some are mine that have been gifted to me, some are the ones that I purchased at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and the like. So I'm just going to dump this out so that we can get them in there and then we'll go from there. <laughs> all right. I think every box has... Um, some birthday things. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. I'm not going to say that because I don't really know. So this one, we have the watering can. I love the watering can. And then this, so I'm just going to go kind of quick. You can pause the video to read or look if you like. And I just don't know. So there's a lot of wood block stamps. There's a lot of sentiments. All right, so I, because I come across this, I wanna let you know, this is gonna have, um, I tried to make sure that anything that had to do with um, a baby or a baby shower, it was all in one box because that to me made sense. And I only had a couple of Christmas stamps that were in here. I do need to go through those, um, but I haven't had a chance yet, so I have those. I feel like this is not going to be the only stamp stamps that I ever sell. This is this one of the sewing stamps, and this says precious. This is that cool stamp. I do like it, but I have so many like it. I just I love that. I just have so many. I just have to say. Oh, did I even show that? Is that the one I didn't show? I don't know. We have this, this, this big one. And yeah, I thought that's what I paid for it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Maybe you remember. I, I'm sure it was in one of my things. Um, this, I have a stamp off. I'm just going to throw it off in there. It's the layering for the florals. It's got sentiments. So there's that one for this. All right, I'm, gonna get, I'm trying to get all the blocks. Congratulations, it's a boy. Oh, oh, I also have, the, this is a brand new. I've never used it, so um, I did pay that. <laughs> but I have, after I bought this, I was gifted some other ones, and I have some others that I use, and I, I just don't need 15 million piece of, of those. So there, that goes in there. This one I really do like, but, oh, obviously, I've used it. Okay, so was that one a gifted one? I don't know, I don't remember. I don't remember. All the fruits are in there. I think this is one of the ones I just picked up. It's missing a little piece, if you remember. I think like a flower or something like that in there. This has got it all. 
This is a butterfly watercolor wings. See, another one of those. This is one I actually bought for myself. I just, I'm not going to use it. And then this had sentiments for the baby shower. So I just went ahead and threw that in there. So there's box A. All right, box A. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be filled with other things. The box is going to be full so that there's no movement. <laughs> it's going to be stuffed. All right, now we're on to box B. So these are flat rate shipping boxes. I chose them because this is going to be heavy with all these wood block stamps. So the shipping is kind of expensive. I think, I think it's, um, I don't really know. It's either $18 and change or 22. I think the last time I went to the post office, they told me it was like 22, but that could be the large box. Anyhow, the shipping is expensive. I know that, but it's going to be a lot more expensive if I do it the other way because of the weight. They're going to go on the weight. Um, shipping charges are crazy. We all know a little on the crazy high side. So I chose to go with the flat rate boxes and that way I can put all the wood blocks in there, not have to worry about the shipping being $40 <laughs> or more. And I've had that happen. So this one has um, this big one, which this is one of my favorites, but I have, I've been buying them and I have many. I need to, I need to say goodbye. It's okay to say goodbye. It's okay. <laughs> and I, this is so cute. I actually have two of these. So I had noticed. So that one went in there. I love this. Not really that it says you're invited, but I like the whole that it's a um, ticket. I think, oh, I was going to, I'm trying to show you the sentiments. Here we go. And a flower. This one right here, I think, because I see a stamp. Hold on. Maybe I don't. Never mind. Here's one I just bought, and I like that, too. So, more saying it's a happy birthday. This is a thank you with George Elliston saying. This is the, oh, okay, this one is it. This is the tassel. So, um... There's a few pieces in here to create um, graduation things. So even if you're not doing the graduation, if this this one doesn't have a sticker on top, but it says class of, which is great. So you can put whatever number you want in there. But I stuck that in there. Congratulations. Um, but you may make something for someone else or may know someone else that will benefit from these. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just getting, these are the stamps I'm getting rid of. So they, it's kind of a mix. And then that, oh, and then we have this butterfly right here. All right. Oh, and then we have this one right here, the unique one. Cute. Then we have um, some silicone stamps here. There's those ones, and then there's these ones. These ones are some of the ones I just picked up. Were these the ones, wait, were these the ones I was keeping? No, I don't think so. They have some sentiments and some foliage and a heart with some, and some more foliage there. Uh, this is at a mustache. Um, this is one of those, like, I don't know how to explain it. It has that weird, that weird, cool look to it. I don't know. This is definitely out of the new, newest batch, I think. We didn't stamp this one out, but it's got the nice foliage pieces. Um, and then this one, another, this is an autumn one. Um, family and friends wishing autumn's blessings and it's got that really pretty leaf. These are cool. These are from my stash. These are from my many years ago stash. So, you know, some of them may have be a little sticky. So just be aware of that. Um, everything is used. Everything is very pre-loved, pre-owned. So there we go. We have this one. So this is box B. All right. Box C. Let's see what we have for C. I guess I could have dumped it all out first. There we go. Oops. All right, so I have another big background. Uh, it's like a label though, but it's a, still a background kind of a stamp. This big heart right here um, from the library of some flowers. Flowers. Let's see. Um, thinking of you with the feathers. Isn't that cute? And then I had these, um, oh, it looks like there's just a random, it's a shower in there, but there's these ones that I liked. It says grand uncle. I try to make sure all of these were in there and I'm pretty sure I did a good job of it. Um, can't think of another person celebrate. These are favorite, this says favorite things. Happy birthday to you. Um, gentle thoughts of you. I don't know why I'm reading all these. Um, 
see. Just a nice saying on that one. Happy birthday. Oh, here's a turkey. And then see this one. See how it says for a special. But they all have that same writing on there. And there was more like sister. Here it is. Sister. I don't know. In-law. Mother. I just thought they were kind of fun for like when you're doing um, like specific books for anybody or journal cards or something like that. That's what I was thinking of. There's that flower. Another little edge. A couple little cakes. Cutie cakes. Heart. Sentiment. Sentiment. Cool floral. Sentiment. Sentiment. And then here's why. Oh my gosh, am I putting them on the camera off the camera? I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope I don't have to redo this video for the third time. Stamped. <laughs> All right, let's see what I've got going on here. Here's some florals. This looks like it's some um, layering flowers um, in here. This one is delight in everything. So cute flor florals to play with. I um, guess we want to see the back though. There we go. Love is, I can't pull these apart, my friend, but all the stamps, if you can see them, plus a little fuzz. My little, my little furry friend is joining us. <laughs> don't worry, I don't charge extra for that. And then there's the snowman. These are from another pack of my um, old, my old stash. Isn't that cool? It's before, I mean, part of me is like, keep it. You're going to, you're going to regret it. But you know what? I've been saying that for over a year since I've been doing the YouTube channel and I haven't used them. So it's time to say bye-bye. All right. And, then, oops, and we just showed these ones on a recent video. And then this one right here, some sentiments. And then that tag right there. Let me just show you. I don't know. It has an empty spot there. So you can put these sentiments inside of there. That's cute. It's actually a really cute little thing in there. All right, so that is C. All right, I'm back with the stamp boxes. I uh, have them all filled and stacked nicely so that they can stay tight um, in their boxes. And now I have some space in here to, let me get these in there the right way. I have some space in here to add more things. I found some more stamps that I was going to put in a fourth box, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to make the three boxes. So box, so we're going to go box C. I'm adding some numbers, some card sentiments, different sentiments on there. And then here's a cute um, kisses from uh, heaven, polar bears. It is a Christmassy one, but they're so cute with the polar bears. I'm going to put those ones in there. And then box B, I'm going to add the itty bitty greetings there's one and two there's lots of different greetings on here i'm so sorry you guys my lighting is horrible this is why i've been waiting to do this but um I, i'm not gonna get any better at the moment so there we have that um and then box a i'm going to put in the set of these floral this floral set this hawaiian set with the floral i just thought that was cute and went together and then I also have this little set. And then this palm tree, because I figured it just seems like it goes with it. So I'm putting those in box in A. Then I also have um, these little ones right here. Two little leaves, a little sprig, and a piece of grass. And I'm going to put that over here in box C. Oops. Those little ones. And then... I'm going to put all the fruit. <laughs> um, it's a watermelon, grape. You've seen this on the video. So all the fruit pieces um, with the little leaf and the little seed for the watermelon, they're all gonna go in to B. Okay, get their stamps back in there. There we go. Um, then I'm kind of out of stamps. So I have a bag of buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in A. I have this cute notepad. It says he may wear the pants, but I'm, but I run this rodeo. So that's a cute little paper pad. It's got like a little animal print. I'm going to put that in there. It's from Lean and Tree. I've got some, these are um, glass stickums for wine. 
Um, they make cute, like I don't know if you do one or if you know somebody, but if you do, they make cute little tabs or little dangles. You can you can do all kinds of things with them. They're just a fun thing to use. I'm gonna stick that in B. I'm gonna put these floral pack right here in C. I have, oh, I went through my stash. I have, these are all butterflies and, butterflies and hearts. And I think there's some flowers that are from my punches and some of them are my um, painting papers that I've had. Some of them are just cards. Um, some of them are just um, from cut cutouts, but I, I filled all three bags. So each box is gonna get a bag of those. All right. So I've got a cute book. This is the Heartwarmers book. Um, the pages are nice and yellow. They're fun to collage with. They've got beautiful words in them, really pretty writing, uh, or writing uh, script, whatever you want to call it. This is going to go in box. Okay. Right, I'm going to put this in box A. There you go. I want it to be a tight fit. Um, and then this right here is a cool holder. So I bought, I got this and I th because I thought it would be fun to make a signature inside of this. It's got butterflies on it. This is gonna go in box B. This one, this is the Mermaid's book. It's got the frames in it. I thought this was fun, but I don't work with this stuff, so, and I, I just have too many other projects to even think about doing something like this at the moment. So I'm gonna put this one, I think it's gonna go in box C. Let me, let me see if it will fit in C. Should fit in C, there we go. There we go, get the stamp. These are stamps back in here. Those stamps there. There we go. We're getting it. This can go down to the side. These can go down to the side. <laughs> I'm gonna stuff them. And then um, each box is gonna get one of these um, these booklets with the kids with these cool images. So we'll put one in that one. I have one there, and then I have another one here. Oh, I've got some old mail. Let's put a piece of mail in each box. And I have these really cool um, old work basket books, booklets. I'm going to put one of those in each box. And just some, I'm just trying to find like some random things to put in there um, that are fun to play with, with the junk journals, of course. I mean, I mean, it has to be fun to play with on the junk journal side. So now I have some little empty spots here. So box A, I'm going to put this embroidery set. It's got felt in there. It's got threads in there. It's got the teddy bear thingy if you want to do it, or is the scarf, I'm not really sure, but it, there that is, I'm gonna put that in A. I have a box of these note cards. I don't know if they're all in here because I was playing with them, but this is your prayer cards, but they're fun to use for other things. I got these at the Dollar Over store, but, um, or the Family Dollar Tree, whatever it's called, whatever they're calling it, that's where I got them. I don't know if they still have them um, in my area. They may still have them in yours, but um, let me get those down there. And then I'll put the, I have another pack of those and I'll put that in box C. And I need to make sure I get all these in here. Okay, come on you guys, fit, just fit. <laughs> these are florals. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these in three little bags. These are, these are cutouts. Now I purchased these pre-cut from Tsunami Rose a long time ago. I used the amount that I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use any more of them. I just keep tucking them away. And then I also have all these whale tail punches, punched out pieces. I took out, I, I had a whole bunch of them that my sister-in-law had bought me. I used all the, I took all the ones out that I'm gonna use and I put the rest of them in here. There's just too many, too many for me. So um, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna put these in three bags like I did the other, the flowers and the hearts. And then each box will get one. Give me one sec. All right, I got them bagged up and so here's a set of flowers for A, B, and C, and then some of the, a pack of the, oh my gosh, whale tails, A, B, and C. All right, so these boxes are getting pretty stuffed. I might need to shift things around a little bit to fit everything in there, but I have a few more things I wanna put in there. So um, I have these little, thing, these little things I made a long, long, long time ago, and I actually think it would be fun to do it on a video, um, there's three different colors that I'm going to be putting in here. I'm just going to open the one so I can show you what it what it does. Um, the paper clip actually, it's just got a little bit of a thread that'll complement each one. And then this was made out of a file folder stenciling and things like that. When you open it up, the little button tab here, you can pull that out. There's You can journal on that side and you can journal also on the back of it. I just 
use my ink and a cardboard thing, I think, to make these lines. Um, then you have like a little waterfall notepad here, a pocket here with some paper in there, and then some embellishing right here. And like I said, I made these so long ago. And then on the very back, I made a belly band, and then I put a file, file, no, not a file folder, an index card kind of thing right there. Nothing, it's not overly decorated. It's, there's room for you to make it your own and play. So I have one, so I have this one, the blue one for A, the purple one's going in B, or pet paisley, green paisley. I always think of peacock, but it's not a peacock, it's paisley. <laughs> it's gonna go in C. All right, so I have those in there. And then these um, are just, these are some wooden elements. Um, I actually got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I embossed them. Oops, this one's broken, so I have to go get a different one for that one. I don't wanna send a broken one, so here, let me get a new one here. So I embossed these pieces and then I just put them there. They just have a glue dot underneath them. They're on a strip of this really cool fabric that's fun to play with. Another, a piece of sheet, a piece of um, curtain lace, and another piece of sheet. So sheet fabric. And that's, and then it's just all held together with a bulb pin. So I'll put one in for C. And then this one will go in A. Same thing, just different. Um, the wood pieces might be a little bit different. And then this one is for A. So A, B, and C, I'll have one. And then I have these little panels right here that are really cute from a curtain that I cut apart. So I'm gonna add these. Um, there's five pieces. There's A, B, I'm going backwards, but A, B, and C will all get one. And then after that, I'm just gonna put a few more little um, pieces of fabric-y um, and little lacy pieces, just a couple little things that I can find just to finish stuffing the boxes. But as you can see, here is B. It's literally stuffed to the gills. Like I. It's stuffed. I'm gonna have to put this down a little bit different so that I can protect these little wooden pieces. But um, there you go, my friends. These are the boxes. I'm gonna list them on my Kofi store. There's three of them, A, B, and C. Uh, the video is kind of long, I'm sorry, but you'll have to follow that to know what's inside the box because once I seal these up, I'm not going back in. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for your patience on this video um, and this listing for the stamps this is what i have now i will have more stamps later in the later um later later in the future i have to keep going through things before i get to the next step anyhow this is what i have for now my friends i hope you like that i hope you enjoyed the video process of me putting these boxes together i'm going to get them listed on my kofi store all the pricing will be there if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me i will see you on the next video enjoy all your moments bye